I'm deeply honored uh, to have come to the Congress in 1965. And it was an honor that would make him the longest serving African-American congressman in history. I love my job. It's very simple. Are you ready for a victory? He celebrated many victories in his lifetime. John James Conyers Jr. was born in Highland Park, May 16, 1929. He graduated from Detroit's Northwestern High School, served in the Korean War, and went on to law school. He initially turned down a job in the office of the late legendary Congressman John Dingell, but then realized his mistake and pleaded for a second chance. He listened to me go through all this, and he put his arm around me and said, let's go down to Saunders and have a milkshake. Mm -hmm. And that started me off. Conyers became active in the civil rights movement before making his own first bid for Congress and picked up some powerful support. I was endorsed by Martin Luther King Jr. at Central United Methodist Church. He held positions of leadership on powerful committees and was the only member of the Judiciary Committee to take part in the impeachment hearings of both Presidents Nixon and Clinton. After yesterday's considerable misstatements by members of the majority, uh, I rise to set the record straight. The congressman also played a major role in more than 100 pieces of key legislation